David Shimenga, aspirant MC Kolomani. You vied for a Kolomani parliamentary seat on which ticket? NC ticket, we had a nomination, and then the ticket was given to somebody else. How many were you? There were two of us, me and the teacher. Then I won the teacher with over 400 votes. That unfortunately, the ticket was awarded to me. Then we went to court, uh, PPD, we started the party, then went to PPD, we won the case. They were told to swear my name to IEBC, which they did. That's the Secretary General. So we proceeded to High Court, up to Court of Appeal. Then we won the, the case that's last week on Friday. IEBC was compelled to remove the teaching and include my name. Then, as we are speaking, the Secretary General for you, for, uh, that's ANC, is in contempt of court. He uh, needs to be arrested. According to you, as IBC in published your name in the ballot papers? The IBC, what we have done is our lawyers uh, forwarded the name that is uh, yesterday. Uh, but the ruling was on Friday. The IBC lawyers were in court, so we don't know if the party support the IBC to take the action. As per the as per the directive by the High Court, you said you are you are vying for which parliamentary seat? We call a money parliamentary seat on a NC ticket of Kenya NC. Kwanza. Yes, coalition. Okay, and in the event, a IBC does not yes. include your name. What do you intend to do? In the event, it means IBC will have gone against the court orders, so we will seek the election to be nullified. What other, what other reliefs are you seeking from the court? Uh, the only because the court, I think the court has given us what we wanted. Uh, it has served justice, uh, so the orders have been given to IBC unless there is an appeal, uh, which is not there. So it means the IBC will have to act as for the court. Uh, if not, then we still go back to the same court and say the IBC has defied the court orders and then the court will decide on what to do, if it is to suspend the election or nullify it.